Hi, I'm Cassandra, the Joyful Artist. I'm the author of Midlife Career Rescue. It's a book I wrote inspired by love. The love of the challenge of doing something I loved and proving that you could follow your bliss and achieve results that you would not have expected otherwise. In this video, I'm going to be sharing the inspiration behind one of my chapters, Inspiration Used to Carve Out a New Career. I narrated this audio version of this book following the death of my mother earlier this year and I found tremendous peace and purpose in doing so. I hope you enjoy this chapter. It's chapter two and I share part of mum's story about the many many career changes she made in her 70s and right up until her death in her 80s as well. I hope it's inspiring for you. Chapter 2 Inspiration used to carve out an opportunity When you follow your bliss, doors will open for you that don't open for anyone else. Joseph Campbell, author In thinking about the work you want to do, there is no better place to start than tapping into your deepest interests and obsessions. It may seem obvious, but the sad reality is that only a small percentage of people are visibly pursuing their passions. As one person in her twenties said to me, Don't you do what you love when you retire? It's true that when you do what you love, you'll never work again. By identifying areas of interest or occupations that inspire you, you can create an awareness of a wider variety of possible career paths opportunities and organisations that you would like to work for. To be inspired is to be in spirit, a place that comes from your soul. Many people don't know what they are interested in, and this is particularly the case if they are feeling depressed by their current work situation. In addition, even when they do know what interests them, they may not have considered the important role of interests and areas of passion when it comes to making career choices that will stand the test of time. Deeply embedded life interests do not determine what people are good at. They drive what kinds of activities and environments make them happy. It makes logical and intuitive sense that the more you enjoy something, the more likely it is that you will succeed. As the artist and philosopher John Ruskin said, where talent, interest and motivation intersect, expect a masterpiece. The exercises that follow are designed to assist you to determine broad areas of interest and prioritise against passion, identify a variety of jobs and career paths related to your areas of interest, including self-employment. Apply your interest identification to your career and life decisions. Inspire others with your passion and enthusiasm. Recapture your youth and live joyfully again. Action task. Identify your deepest interests. Passion goes in all directions. It can be as tangible as a job, or a car, or a house, or your family, or as intangible as a dream or an idea. You could be passionate about anything. I knew a man that forged an excellent academic career from his interest in potatoes. 1. What inspires you? List all the things that interest and inspire you. Pay attention to the books you read or the magazines you tend to buy, the shows you watch or the things that you feel drawn to. Think about the times when you notice clues to your passion, such as a surge of energy or a sense of losing track of time. The following suggestions are a helpful starting point. Highlight anything in this list that captures your interest and imagination. Narrow your areas of interest where you can. For example, if you have circled a cause, identify some possible causes. Feel free to add any interest that may be missing. This list is by no means exhaustive. The world is infinitely fascinating. Feel free to add any interests that may be missing. A cause. A belief. Rock star or band. A movie star. Acting. An idea. 
analyzing things. Astrology, books, cars, cats, children, clothes, color, computers, cooking, dancing, design, dogs, entertaining others, family, films, fishing, gardening, graphic design, health and well-being, helping others, a hobby, horses, hunting, a job, the environment, collecting things, becoming something, creating something, changing, science, equality, justice, human rights, human behaviour, rugby, food, writing, reading, making furniture, simplicity, singing, truth, world peace, fabric and textiles, problem solving, technology, organising things, painting, languages, sport, the past, the future, visual communication, travel, war tactics, the media, makeup, making money, music, other cultures, people, physical fitness, nutrition, shoes, spiders, astronomy, innovation, public speaking, personal development, spirituality. 2. Identifying interesting career options. For the purposes of this exercise, narrow your favourite interests, choose five interests you would love to use in your career. Stretch your creative skills and increase your awareness of all the various ways people have turned their deepest interests into profitable and meaningful careers. Using one of your favourite interests, list or brainstorm as many ways to make money or possible career options as you can. Repeat this exercise in your passion journal for your other interests. The aim is to generate ideas by building an exhaustive list of possible ways people make a living from things that interest you. We are not asking you to commit to anything, just to be open to possible choices and ideas. Don't discount anything or dismiss ideas prematurely. Encourage friends and family members to contribute suggestions so that you leave no idea undiscovered. If you get stuck, Try asking open, generative questions like who, what, where, how, etc. If your interest was researching, try asking what research, for who, where. Listing possibilities as you go. You could broaden things by adding another interest. Google is helpful too. You could type what research jobs do people with an interest in health do, or something similar. For example, Mary was interested in books and movies. She brainstormed all the ways people could and do make a living working in these areas. Her list included movie director, stage director, scriptwriter, makeup artist, book critic, photographer, illustrator, marketing PR person. Her friends added several other ideas, including an editor, sound person, and costume designer. Mary highlighted writer of children's books, illustrator and photographer as possible career options she wanted to look into further. She found that a good place to start was a jobs database with in-depth job information and profiles of many roles. Googling careers related to her areas of interest was also helpful. One of the best sources of information was informational interviewing, talking to other people, working in roles which interested Mary and about which she was passionate. This is the link to the site Mary referred to, www.careers.gov.nz. 3. Researching and reality testing career options. Using the list of career options that you have generated, identify ways you could find out more information about them to see if these careers might be a good option for you. Use a similar process if you are considering self-employment or starting your own business.
If being your own boss is an option you'd like to explore, you may like to check out Midlife Career Rescue, Employ Yourself. From mechanic to rock haven creator, sometimes finding a job you love can come from the most unexpected things and places. A New Zealand man has turned his passion into the rock that he has built a career on. When Carl Gifford left school to become a motor mechanic, mainly because his father wanted him to get a job and told him he had to choose before he was 10 what he was going to do for a living. Being a motor mechanic did not really suit him or give him much satisfaction, so he switched to car wrecking because it was a bit more lucrative. However, after trying that for a while, he decided that wasn't really him either. Then one day, what turned out to be his true calling leaped out at him. I was driving around and I was inspired by some stonework I saw. I thought, that's what I want to do. Before you knew it, I was off to a quarry. I started putting rocks together and thought, hey, I'm good at this. And before you knew it, I had someone ringing me up saying, come and do this for us. Carl's first stone sculpture can be seen at Massey University campus in Wellington, New Zealand. It symbolizes the struggle at Parihata. It was quite a buzz for me that that was my very first sculpture. It was a very important sculpture. Stonemason by trade, no one sees the potential in rocks like he does. You stare at them all day. You start seeing faces in rocks and you say, Oh, I can sell that one. That's a rock wheeler. Oh, that's the Virgin Mary. I see faces in rocks everywhere, all the time, even in the simplest of rocks. Noses, faces. How weird is that? But as Placido Domingo once said, when it becomes clear that no one else shares your level of passion, you are where you belong. And Carl certainly has carved out a special place for himself, inspiring and exciting all those who come across his works. His stone walls are in high demand, and many are built for the rich and famous. He has performed numerous jobs for the Wellington City Council, beautifying the coastline, designing the baboon and tiger enclosure at Wellington Zoo, he's worked at Vogel House, and is currently working on a big project for the producer of the Lord of the Rings trilogy, Peter Jackson. However, what really seems to drive Carl is the passion and zest he has to make a world of pleasure for others. The drive down Happy Valley Road between O'Hara Road and Brooklyn was anything but happy till his works of art started to appear along the roadside. And several years ago, he bought 25 hectares near the rubbish tip and started putting sculptures on it. I've got big dreams for this place, but nobody believes them, he says. Not then, anyway. With his passion and determination, he realised his dream of expanding his empire, which he calls Kaluchi Land, into a fun park for adults and children, where everyone, regardless of age, can capture the joy of childlike play. Not surprisingly, his main office is inspired by the Flintstones and called Bedrock. Too often people are afraid to stand out from the crowd. Often the innovative path is the path less followed. But as actress Drew Barrymore says, originality is believing in your individuality, believing in yourself, being able to take risks, even though people might think you are weird for doing it. Not only has Carl found a way to earn a living from his passion and create work that allows him to be true to himself, he has recaptured his youth in the process. Passion at Work the day will come when after harnessing space, the winds, the tides, and gravitation, we shall harness for God the energies of love. And on that day, for the second time in the history of the world, we shall have discovered fire. Pierre Talleyrand de Chardin, French biologist and philosopher. Some people believe that you go to work, grit your teeth, and bear it. Others say that it's unrealistic to expect job satisfaction. But these views couldn't be further from the truth. Here are just a few ideas of ways that people have turned their interest into fulfilling careers. Joy spent years as a legal conveyancer, but wanted to do something more creative. One day, she was driving to work, stuck in traffic, thinking, What am I doing? This just isn't me. She was passionate about interiors. All her life had dreamed of owning her own store. She left the security of a steady wage to start up Maypole at Biggie Best, a successful interior design store. Marie was unemployed but felt passionate about weaving. Her passion gave her the energy and courage to start selling her creations and now they are in demand all over the world. And she employs more than 15 people. 
Louise hated her job as a lawyer until she discovered how she could link her passion for animal welfare with her skills as a lawyer. She now works for an international animal rights organisation and wakes up every day looking forward to going to work, knowing she is making a difference in an area she is passionate about. Jasmine survived redundancy by purchasing an irrigation business. In this way, she was able to continue her love of the outdoors and gardening. Nora complained that even though she was good at what she did, nobody ever asked her if she enjoyed it. The trouble was she had lost sight of her own interests and enthusiasms too. Coaching helped her to tap into her lifelong fascination with books. She is now pursuing a career as a literary agent, combining her legal skills and passion for literature. Start an inspiration file and gather examples of other people following their bliss. Synchronistic support. The more passion and zest you feel, the more alive and brightly lit you are. When you follow your bliss, you can't help but tune into and attract opportunities that allow you to express and act upon the things that most interest you. For years I have been collecting articles about passionate people. I'm passionate about passion. It wasn't a rational decision. I didn't plan to be passionate about it. Only when I sat down and consciously thought about how I could make a living from the things that interest me did the coin drop. Then, almost by magic, people came into my life who provided further support to my dreams. I began to write down in my journal some of my ideas, even though I had no idea how I was ever going to make my dreams a reality. But step by step, little coincidences, or what I call go incidences, began to build. And before I knew it, I was on my way to building a business where helping people follow their passions was a core theme. Client success story from student to gallery assistant. Jane came to see me for career coaching. She was a woman in her 40s and the single parent of a seven-year-old. The previous year, she had started studying towards a bachelor in interior design. While the area interested her, she wasn't enjoying all the computer work involved in the course and was feeling increasingly isolated. She also feared that after four years of study, she may not find a job. As we talked, it became clear that interior design was not her true passion. Initially, she asked me to help her find a job. Previously, she had applied for lots of positions with limited success and was beginning to feel despondent about the chances of finding a job that would give her the flexibility to be home for her son when he finished school. We worked through a dream job exercise to help her focus her efforts more successfully and she suddenly became really animated and excited. Ever since I've been in the seventh form, I've always wanted to be an art dealer. I have always believed my purpose is to promote art and help creative people make a living from their creativity. It's crazy. I had completely forgotten. Together, we worked on several strategies to help her bring her dream to fruition, including market research and informational interviewing. Collecting images of her dream gallery and presenting these on a storyboard helped make her dreams more real. I'm so excited. I can really feel my passion growing. This is what I really want to do. As a result of her market research, Jane resurrected a partially completed arts degree and is now studying marketing and art history at university. Several weeks later, she ran into a woman who owned a gallery and was offered a part-time job helping them market their exhibitions. I can't believe it! This is my dream job! The gallery is exactly how I imagined it on my storyboard. It's even got an architecture studio attached, so it combines all my passions. I feel so lucky! I'm so excited! The truth is, when you are clear about who you are and what you have to offer, and where your passions collide, expect to be hired. Your life is right now. It's not later. It's not in that time of retirement. It's not when the lover gets here. It's not when you've moved into the new house. It's not when you get the new, better job. Your life is right now. It will always be right now. You might as well decide to start enjoying your life right now because it's not ever going to get better than right now until it gets better right now. Abrian Hicks, Intuitive What you've learned so far Passion goes in all directions, the tangible and the intangible. Don't judge what interests you, see if it serves who you are and who you want to be. When you do what interests you, work will feel like joy. 
Strengthening your creative thinking skills will widen your awareness of all the ways your interests can transfer into profitable and rewarding careers. Sometimes finding a job you love can come from the most unexpected people, things and places. Follow your inspiration and see where it leads. The more passion and zest you feel, the more alive and brightly lit you are, the more energy you have, and the more you attract opportunities, where talent, interest and motivation intersect. Expect a masterpiece. When it becomes clear that no one else shares your level of passion, you are where you belong. What's next? In the next chapter, you'll discover how motivating, empowering and enriching life is when you live and work with purpose. If you want more information about my books, my paintings, my coaching services and my in-person art retreats, please go to my website, cassandragaysford.com.